That's why we have that power. So all we have to do is use it and let God do the rest by faith in his word. Now I want to go to Hebrews 6, 6 chapter. I want to go to the 13th verse. For when God made promise to Abraham, because he could swear by no greater, he swore by himself, saying, Surely blessing I will bless thee, and multiplying I will multiply thee. And so after he had patiently endured, he obtained the promise. And that's what we have to let patience have our, her perfect work in us that we might receive everything that God has promised us. But we have to know what he promised through reading, studying, meditating on his word so you know the power that he has put in your life to, that is all over the power of the enemy. And so after he had patiently endured, he obtained the promise, for men verily swear by the greater, an oath of confirmation is to them the end of all strife. When a man swears, you know, he makes that promise, that's supposed to be the end of all strife. He's going to do what he said he's going to do. But God made that promise and has the power to do what he said he's going to do. The only difference is we have to believe it and trust in it. When God willing more abundantly to show unto the heirs of the promise of, of the immutability of his counsel, confirmed by an oath. In other words, whatever God says, he can do. Whatever he speaks, it will not come back to him void. So we have to believe in what God said and reject what Satan says. By two immutable things in which, number one, it is impossible for God to lie. He can't lie. Satan lies. He's the father of lies. He created lies. So that's why whenever anything contrary to God, anything that wants to destroy, tear down, take away, defile, uh, make filthy in your life, Jesus has the power to rebuke that, even the thought of that, through his word, through trusting in him. Because God can't lie. And he said he's got that power. That we might have a strong consolation. You know, consolation is your, your, your confidence, your belief in God. So you can walk around like you know that God is your father and he protected you and watching over you. Not being overbearing or arrogant, but just being confident because of what God has done for you. Giving him all the glory and the praise and the thanks given for what he's done. Who have fled for refuge to lay hold upon the hope that is set before us. In other words, that hope that we have put in him, he has always been there to bring it to pass. Which hope we have as an anchor of the soul to hold us right with him, both sure and steadfast, and which entereth into that which in within the veil, that is able to bring us into the holy of holies, into that relationship with God where he walks with us, talks with us. He gives us an insight of what's going on. He said we have an unction with the Holy One and know all things. The Lord can protect us and watch over us in every situation. Whether the forerunner is for us entered, which is where Jesus entered into the real holies of holies, which is he's able through Route 35, highway of holiness to bring us into, even Jesus made an high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. And he was the one that um, uh, met Abraham and, and did things for Abraham and he had no beginning and no ending that they knew of and Jesus it is, it was with the Father from the very beginning and ending. So I just want to thank God and I just pray that that um, you know I thank God for everything that he has done and how he has equipped us and how he's even strengthening us and making us, giving us helping us uh, better getting stronger in faith in his word and belief in the things that he has said that he will do for us. Amen. 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 Amen.
Amen. I thank God for each and every one of y'all braving all this cold weather, getting out of here, and even those that got on the telephone, even taking the time. You know, I believe God really honors that because, you know, so many other things that distract people from hearing anything from the Lord. And uh, TV and games and videos and all this other stuff going on. But you know what? You took the time to hear a word from the Lord. And I pray that the Lord might add a blessing to it and that I'm, he might show himself even stronger in your life. Amen? Amen. 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 Brother Tyrone, would you close this out with a word of prayer? Amen. Amen. Praise God. Father God, thank you for this message that we heard this evening. Father, I ask that you yes. give, strengthen us and continue to keep us and protect us from things seen and unseen. As we go up through the rest of the week, Father, I ask that you bless us. I ask that you go with us. I ask that you lead us and I ask that you guide us. These things I'm asking in Jesus' name. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Lord willing, we'll get together Sunday. Uh, first Sunday of the new year. And Brother Dave will be bringing forth the message. And we just thank God for each and every one of y'all. Amen. Amen. Amen.